What's up guys, in today's video, we are going to be looking at a brand new 2021 Magbay 42 foot boat. It is brand new and we are going to be giving a ceramic coating estimate on this boat. It's right here behind me. I have already booked the job, not gonna lie. We're out here giving it a ceramic coating, but what I wanna do in this video is show you guys exactly what I look for when I'm giving a quote on a brand new boat. It is a little bit different than like an older boat or used boat because you can you know, expect that there's gonna be some oxidation and some correction steps, but on a brand new boat, there should not be any oxidation, but there's always correction steps. And we're gonna go over that in this video. So guys, if you get any value out of this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell notification. So every time I make a video, it will pop up. And with all that said, let's go ahead and hop into what to look for when you are quoting a ceramic coated boat. Let's go. All right, guys, so like I said, we're gonna hop right here on this boat right now, 42 foot Mag Bay. Um, and if you don't know a little bit about Mag Bay, is Mag Bay is actually formerly Cabo. So if you see Cabo boats, Mag Bay is now formerly Cabo, uh, which is cool. And these boats are super nice. I mean, very, very, very pretty boats, um, as you can see here. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. We're gonna hop on, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I look for when I'm uh, giving a quote on ceramic coating a boat. All right, guys, so the very first thing you want to determine when you are giving a quote to ceramic coat a boat is what does the customer want? Okay, so I know that might sound um, extremely juvenile and kind of a dull statement, but you want to ask the customer, hey, what exactly do you want me to ceramic coat? This customer wants everything done. So we're gonna do everything, all right? And in the next parts of this video, I'm gonna make this actually a three-part video. This is gonna be the quote part, and then I'm gonna do a part on correction, and I'm gonna do a part on the ceramic coating process. We are going to be using Stark Liquithor and Stark Repel Pro on this boat. So look forward for those videos. It's gonna be one, two, three. I'm gonna hit you guys like that with some videos, shorter videos, more in-depth videos, so you guys get all the value that you can. We are going to be doing everything on this boat besides the glass. We're not gonna do the glass on this boat, but we're doing everything. So we're doing all the non-skid, we're gonna do all the smooth gel coat. We are not going to be doing the teak. I don't know if that's real teak. <laughs> we're gonna find out though. Um, we're not gonna be doing the screens because most of your screens already come with a protective layer coating on it, but we are gonna be doing all of the smooth gel coat and all of the non-skid, all of our metal up here on the boat as well. So basically everything on the top side up. So everything we're doing on this boat is from the rub rail up. So once we have determined what the customer actually wants, then we can get kind of into the quoting process. So a few things that I look for, one is just overall condition. It is a brand new boat, so it better be dang near perfect. If it's not, then there's problems. Mag Bay, freaking, I will give it to them. Guys, this boat is beautiful. I mean, it is. It's not the biggest, it's not the most craziest boat I've ever seen, but Mag Bay killed it on this boat. This boat is really, really beautiful boat. Simple, eloquent, very, just very detailed oriented, very beautiful boat. So, boat is in good shape. Check one. Check two, the very next thing that I look for, I give an overall glance of the whole boat, make sure I like everything. Check two is looking for swirl marks, all right? Brand new boats are notorious for swirl marks. There may not be a lick of oxidation, but Swirl Mark City, that they are. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check out what I'm talking about. All right guys, so what I mean by Swirl Marks are these bad boys right here. But you always have to look, so you got the sun, obviously. You wanna look at the sunlight in the gel coat. And as you can see, there's holograms just swirling all around in the gel coat. All right, we're on the roof right now, so you can see all those holograms, and I'm really hoping we can actually get that on camera. And then we're gonna hop down here. You can kind of see all those swirls just swirling around there. Nice and swirly. Now, 
I will say, and I will give Mag Bay credit, this is not the worst boat I've ever seen. But there is some sanding marks up here. There's some swirls all in the gel coat. And I can't get down low enough, but they are down here as well. And then also right here on the front, you can see them swirling pretty bad on the front. I'm up here on the roof, just checking it out. That's another thing too, guys, you really wanna, before you quote the boat, get on the roof and look, cause the roofs are always really bad. And as you can see here, the swirl marks are crazy bad on the roof up here. And it's even starting to oxidize up here on the roof. So that's a good note to know. We're gonna have to do some heavier cutting probably up here, but you can really see those swirls swirling around like crazy. So now that we've seen all of the swirl marks on the roof here and then down here, now that we've got the swirl marks, I did talk to the customer about it. Cool thing, shout out to Mag Bay, is that they are actually going to cover the cost. So that is another thing, man, I give it to Mag Bay. Mag Bay ain't paying me a penny to say any of this, but they are actually going to cover the cost to get all the, the swirl marks corrected out of the boat. So quick tip, and I hope Mag Bay doesn't get upset with me for saying this, <laughs> but if you are quoting a brand new Mag Bay and there's swirls all over it, go ahead and tell the customer that Mag Bay may cover the cost of getting the swirl so i will say good job mag bay for taking care of your customers so now that we see that there is obviously swirl marks on the outside now what you want to do is what's called a test spot and i'm going to have dan back here do that now that'll actually determine what steps we're going to do already in my mind i think we're going to do stark elevate on a wool pad and then just follow it up with stark elevate on a foam pad that should be plenty enough to cut those swirls and finish the surface perfect but that could change but that will be in the in the next video on the test spot so we got overall boat check swirl marks check now we're also just going to look at the inside of the boat like i said guys this boat is basically brand new so it's not dirty the customer actually cleaned it for us so thank you mr customer boat is nicely cleaned all on the inside our seat cushions are nice um we're gonna do all inside of here. We are doing your non-skid, so you have to look how much non-skid. This boat is actually wider than most boats, so we gotta kinda calculate that as well, but I'm not gonna get too crazy on that because the boat is in nice shape. So the reason why I said we are gonna look at the non-skid is because we are ceramic coating the non-skid with Stark Repel Pro. We will, we will be doing all of the non-skid on the entire boat all the way up the front and then the all the front deck as well so we are going to want to calculate that as well all right so we looked at the boat overall swirls determined swirls all that now the last but not least is going to be checking out our metal we will be ceramic coating our metal on this boat all of the metal on this boat will be getting stark aluminum coating on the boat and we are going to level it okay you can do a wipe on leave it application or you can level it if you do level it it won't last as long but you get a much nicer shine so in this case bands it is a brand new boat i want to get the best shine as possible so we are going to do all of our metal with stark aluminum coating so you want to determine how much rod holders you have how many little metal little rod holders back here you got you got all under here your cleats all of your metal is all going to get stark aluminum coating on it so luckily this boat doesn't have a crazy amount of metal but that is something you want to look for and then on the front of the boat there is metal um a bow rail all the way around the front now one thing on this boat too we are going to be ceramic coating on all the garments so we have the two two satellite garments and then the one in the middle so that's just three that'll take really quick no correction on that just triple p and the ceramic coat so we have officially walked through pretty much everything on this brand new 42 foot mag bay um like i said check the compartments if you're doing them in this case we're not but we're doing the non-skid we're doing all of the smooth gel coat we're doing our metal and we're doing our garments so go ahead and calculate um you know i don't want to get into all my pricing structure and everything like that but this boat is going to be around 200 bucks a foot for the correction because we are going to have to do some correction on the front and we're going to be doing um basically all of the smooth and the non-skid on this boat it's buffing out relatively easy so we are going to be around that 200 dollar a foot range uh, just on average, if you are doing ceramic coatings, a good price to charge is around that 150 range for top sides of boats this size. Uh, if you're getting in the hulls, and that'll be another 80 to 90 dollars a foot for the hull. Just pure reference, guys. That is not a concrete number at all. All of my pricing structures fluctuate sometimes 320 a foot. If we're getting real crazy and the boat's real crazy and in depth, um, center consoles can be a little higher, honestly, because the work is harder because you're upside down and bent over all the time. So, anyway, brand new 42 foot Mag Bay 
ceramic coating and correction. Let's hop right to it. Guys, look forward for the next videos. They'll be coming out in the next couple days. I'm gonna do one on correction and the next one will be on the ceramic coating process. Let's go.